Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to a Thursday live. Um, in a sunny but not spring part of South Africa yet, I think something that we have all experienced is that the season is changing. If you are living in the Southern Hemisphere, we are all excited to soon and hopefully wherever you maybe are in the Southern Hemisphere, you are are already experiencing spring although for us here in the Eastern Cape it is still um, very much winter for those in Pretoria I believe that you have um, you are experiencing spring and for those in the northern hemisphere it is the start of autumn also is a season that is known for beautiful colors change in the colors um, in our surround so wherever you are just feel and this is a message um, um, a message of change now I'm very excited today to share some creative um, um, inspiration with all of you we are going to work on fabric because I think as we are experiencing the change of season, Maestro is very excited. He received a new ball from Kay today. He's so happy to um, be sharing his um, playful spirit with us. As we experience change, it's nice to change things around us. And many times fabrics are the one thing that we do want to change and also invite friends and family over for dinners. So I'm working on a tablecloth, right? I'm going to start sharing the tips with you and then we will share some inspiration as we go. I thought while we are working on and sharing the message of a new season, I'm also going to share the new chocolate colors with you and some inspirational, creative ways of using these colors. Now these colors and represent beautiful, special people in our chocolate mitts. They are family, they are friends, they are special. So we will soon share very special interviews that I had with each one of these beautiful humans that represent these colors. So here I have Soulful Sanita, here I have Choppy, here I have Shaw Serenity and here I have Adorable Amina. And as I mention each name, a special um, feeling actually is um, entering my heart. But the moment you see the videos, you will know what I'm referring to. Okay, so in these bottles, and these are tomato sauce bottles that we find everywhere, I have actually decanted these colors. So the chocolate colors are inside these bottles and you will soon see why I have done it this way. On my workstation, I have covered it with the chocolate paint waterproof sheets. You will find it from your nearest chocolate stockers. They are completely waterproof, so they cover your um, work area so that no paint can seep through. Okay. Then what I have is I have a very natural um, piece of fabric that is my tablecloth. You can see it has been used. It's not perfect, but I'm going to give it a new lease on life. Okay, I'm first going to remove this. I'll show you soon what I've done here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll up my sleeves. That's the first thing to, that I need to do. I'm not going to remove my scarf, even if it gets paint on now, it's just too cold. And what I'm doing is I am adding blocks of first soulful sanita. Something that I always mention, and I'm just going to say it again, is that color is a personal preference. But now that we are working on a tablecloth, in my mind, um, actually planning a table setting it's nice to get out of your comfort zone so that you can actually experience with color it's not something that's going to be in your living space permanently it's something that can create excitement 
that's maybe outside the norm and where you are actually just yeah breaking your own rules and those own um something inside that prevents you from being creative and just experience next i'm going to do adorable amina you use colors that you want to use okay so for this technique can be done on a furniture piece it can be done on other fabrics pillowcases t-shirts lovely way to actually have or um a workshop to have with kids for a birthday party and um, where they decorate and make their own t-shirts so i'm just blobbing i'm just going to do a section so that you just get that this bottle is just has a more thicker plastic coating so it's difficult to squeeze out this is now choppy that i'm squeezing out okay so choppy there you go choppy choppy has got a very special mess message and and story so choppy is my mom's oldest friend they've been friends forever tani choppy amina is a very special person each one of them samita lady by the sea special people that touch your heart touch your soul and that will just forever be part of your journey show here go show from from the western cape such beautiful special person okay so i'm just blobbing right and here you can be playful i give the idea and I'm just the messenger, you are going to be the artist and have fun. So here's a lot of dots on this tablecloth. Next, now this is something that everyone please needs to take to heart. And um, if you are living in the Cape, there it now rains forever. If you are living in, um, in Gauteng, it rains forever. You never now need to wash your windows. You can just chop off. Okay, so this is a window cleaner. I hold my fabric in position. And what I do is I just move my window cleaner over my blocks of paint. Okay, there I've missed a section. And I'm not going to do this on my entire tablecloth. I'm actually just going to do this on the head. Okay. Did it look nice, Kaylee? Was it satisfying or did I move too fast? Good. Okay. Next. Now, once again, as color is a personal choice, so is pattern. I have decided, seeing that it is well seasoned currently, and in Ria book, the Western Cape, you can spot the most beautiful wells. I'm going to share something with you. So quite recently, um, okay, thank you, Kay. Almost everything is blocked. And quite recently, we had the opportunity to travel through Ria book. And um, a part of the beach, they call the maternity ward. And we were privileged enough to see how a baby whale was born. It was magical and something that I will treasure for the rest of my life. And the, one of the most special things is it was Sunday, the 1st of September, when she was born. And we called her Lenta. So in Afrikaans, Lenta means spring okay now i'm going to you can wait for this coat of paint to dry 
we don't have time to allow for it to dry else you are going to wait too long so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue to apply my stencil so what i have here is a chocolate paint stencil and the code is 24 a4-3 and it is a beautiful design with fish I think we all start feeling the vacation vibes this year has been quite a long one okay I apply my stencil on my fabric and what I do is I just make sure that I align it with the top so that the border of the stencil is actually in line with the border of my fabric so that I know every time I apply it straight and that the pattern is just straight. I have applied masking tape around the border of my stencil just to allow more space to move on my stencil without damaging my fabric. I'm going to next use the color Danny Stair, also a beautiful person it's named after. I'm using some paper towel and you can also use the backing of um, your stencils. These actually, thanks for my coffee day, this is the backing of my stencil. Hello master. And this also can be used as a gift card. So if you do your dots on here and you just drag the window cleaner down, lovely way to make personalized gift cards and exactly as I'm going to do now, stencil on top of that. So I'm using a stencil brush. I press my stencil down with my free hand. On my stencil, just remove some paint. Due to the fact that I'm working on fabric, it actually absorbs the paint quite quickly. So I'm not as fast to work with little paint because I know this is linen, so it's quite absorbent. Now your ball is in the dustbin, Maestro. I have a dustbin next to me just to keep my workspace clean. And this is my tablecloth. For a festive, happy family Sunday lunch. How stunning is that? And now what I do is I make sure, so I do want to create a pattern that looks seamless and perfect. I make sure the border of my stencil touch the tails of my fish that it aligns with my bottom. I check, I move if I need to move. And I continue. You can also with your last bits of paint in your paint pots, mix some water so that you can actually do these dots with watered down paint just to make sure that nothing goes to waste. Um, stunning technique to, to do on furniture as well, especially on the drawers of a chest of drawers if you put the drawers next to each other um, and you do it onto the drawer section of the furniture piece. Okay, what? How I'm going to wash this? I'm going to make sure that my machine is set on a cold cycle. I will also, once I'm done with my stenciling, just iron the fabric on, at the back to make sure that the print is heat set and then it's done. Okay, on that side I have been, does it look nice, Scales? Okay, so the process I hope makes sense. Then on that side, I've just been more playful in terms of how I position the design. 
So here, I've actually positioned the stencil horizontally, um, horizontally, and then I've just added some more designs at the top. And over here, I have a pillowcase that I've also stenciled um, with the same stencil and just repeated the pattern. This will make a beautiful pillowcase um, for a nice beachy tea. And as easy as that. <laughs> Maestro, behave. <laughs> Okay, and this is the live for today. It is easy, it's beautiful. I hope it gives you a lot of ideas and inspiration. And then the message for today is the following. So, so many times things happen in our lives. And recently this week I had a conversation with, with a team of ladies and I said, um, we are all exposed to life. No one is excluded from life and the journeys it takes us on. And so many times we can easily ask, why did this happen to me? The question should rather be, why not? Why, why not? Um, because through everything that we go through in life, there's an opportunity to grow and to be, to be better humans. And the, the choice remains yours. So we can accept things that come our way as being negative or we can make a decision to say we are going to have a positive outlook on life. And the moment you allow positivity into your life, you allow beautiful things into your life. But it is a choice that you need to make. The more positive you are, the more positive you will experience things, even if they are not the easy things to experience. But it is a decision that only you can make. So for every negative thought, allow two positive thoughts to overwhelm that negativity so that we can draw positive, positive things, positive outlooks and positive solutions towards ourselves. So for the week ahead, this is my message. Allow positivity into your life. Fight off any negative thoughts and have colorful moments. Life is too short not to experience it in full color. So go create moments. Listen to music you love. Have fun and color your own life. Because the only person that can add color to your life is you yourself. So till next time, have a colorful, positive time, and I'll be back with some more creative ideas. I hope. Keep well and lots of love. Chopi, Sanita, Shaw, and Amina in Danny. It was lovely having you in my space today. And thank you for creating a beautiful, colorful moment with me. Bye.